The series record between two, two teams decided it for UCLA. Uh, Bruins won big in 86. 1958 was the last time that Washington State won a game down here. And would you believe I did that game? Ooh. Now here's Mike Adamley. Keith, I was in the Washington State locker room before the game. Coach Dennis Erickson said to his defense, hey, UCLA is going to get the yardage. They're going to get their points. Don't let it face you. Play aggressively. Play disciplined. Turn it loose. We've come a long way as a football team. Today can be another big step. Kirk Maggio will kick off. All right, Mike, run. thank you. And Washington State won the toss, and they want the ball, so they will receive it to start the ball game with Victor Wood, 13, and Ed Kingstad, number 11, deep. They are without Steve Broussard, their top running back. He is home with a sprained ankle. Kirk Maggio will kick it off for the UCLA Bruins. Beautiful day. It was expected to be cool and rainy like, but it turned out to be a lovely day in Southern California. And the game is on. High, long kickoff by Macho. Oh my gosh, don't bring it out of there. <laughs> I thought for a minute he was going to come six yards deep out of the end zone. That'll stop your heart. Yes, sir. Dennis Erickson, second year at Washington State. You notice that Wyoming is having huge success this year. Well, he came over from Wyoming, and a lot of the young people uh, that are playing at Wyoming with their unbeaten team were brought there by Dennis Erickson. From the 20, then, Washington State will go to work. Tim Rosenball, and they work out of a single back offense. Rich Swinton, who grew up in Canoga Park in the San Fernando Valley, is the lone remaining back. They have tripped to the bottom of the screen, and they run it with Swinton, who had 193 yards last week against Arizona State, and he picked up seven on that carry. So this is the way the Cougars line up offensively. Rosenball, the quarterback, Stallworth, and Wood with Wimberly, wideouts. Pelham plays a lot out there, too. Here are the big people that make this offense go. Well set, Husby, Mahojic, and Nakamura, and Dyko. Second and three. Pretty good offensive front. Second down and three now for Washington State. And here's your first move by the quarterback. Pass is dropped down in the middle. Caught for the tight end. Well set. And Washington State has a first down at midfield. These are the people who have to defend this wide open Washington State offense now for UCLA. And they're good ones. Lotus, Waller, and Mayer are the down people up front with Lake, Johnson, Davis, and Smith. That's about as good a core linebackers as you're going to find. Kenley, Turner, Darby, and Turner. That's Eric and Marcus. That is an outstanding defensive secondary. They really run to the ball. Rosenbaugh throws again. Pass is caught by Stallworth. And Stallworth, a 5'11", 170-pound junior from Pacoima, California. Stallworth and Swinton both went to high school and one player pep in the Van Nuys area. So they are literally playing at home today. Play action holds the linebackers. Stallworth just looks to the inside. The first three plays, three different formations for the Cougars. The first play was four wide receivers and no tight ends. The second play, two tight ends and only two wide receivers. Moving it around. They've got a first down at the UCLA 32-yard line. They're moving the ball, and a whistle stops them. Dennis Erickson, the Cougar coach, told me yesterday in the first offensive series uh, that he wanted to do some things. We'll check the signal here, and it may be in a procedure call against the Cougars. That's motion. That's what it is. So this is what Dennis Erickson had to say about the first or early possession for his ball club. What do you want to do? What we're going to try to do on offense, Keith, is we're going to try to get in, in, in about five or six different formations, try to see how they're going to defense those formations, uh, do some different things out of it. We may even run out of those formations. Uh, we run a lot of motion, so we'll get in those formations and run motion and see exactly how they're going to adjust to certain things on defense. All right, they take the five-yard penalty, back them up to first and 15, and Rosenbaugh throws very quickly. He's always looking for the hot receiver. <clears throat> that time it was William Pelham out of Palm Springs. 
Only 160 pounds, but when, you, when you're playing this kind of an offense, you have got to have quick, quick people. Down to the, well, still, yard line. the three wide receivers are at the top. There's no backs in the backfield. There's just going to run a little bit of a slant, and it spreads the UCLA defense. A lot of gaps, a lot of seams, quick passing, and it's complete. Second and four. Second down and four. Give the ball to Swinton, and Swinton is brought down by Chance Johnson, the inside linebacker. Chance Johnson, who's one of the leading tacklers for the UCLA Bruins, and I think one of the underrated linebackers in the country. We played uh, last year alongside of Ken Norton, all-American uh, inside linebacker and Johnson this year is leading the team in tackles and is really uh, one of the leaders on that uh, defensive team for UCLA it is third down at about five a loss on that previous play and they send Kingstad in motion now Rosenball a little quick pop and the pass is incomplete to Stallworth Stallworth was uncovered on the play and he just stood up and popped the ball right to him, and he didn't get it to him, and it brings up a fourth down. So the Cougars, after moving the ball well, are stalled here. One on the drop by, or the literally a bad pass by Rosenball, a little too quick. And uh, the run by Swinton, in which he was brought down by Chance Johnson. This is Jason Hansen, a freshman from Spokane now, out of the hold of Rob Myers, going for a... 43 44 yard field goal and again penalty flags on the whistle stop them before they can go well, UCLA jump this may be a first down if they were not drawn off it uh, looks like it's against Washington State again the Cougars are dinged for a motion uh, legal penalty well, they're mistaking themselves out of this possession Larry Thompson is the referee, Mel Chappell the umpire, Robert Beal the headlinesman, Charles McFerrin the line judge, Ed Mochini is the uh, field judge, Mark Gilchrist the side judge, and James Fogelkamp is your back judge. They're going to still go for the field goal from 48 yards now. 48. Wind is not a factor. Got enough lag on it. Oh, he split it. So, Jason Hansen shows a leg. The freshman hits one from 48 yards. That is his longest ever. Got a minute? Introducing Jet Wet. Why waste your time and effort with messy liquids or hand-applied products? Look, with Jet Wet, you just spray it on. It's the world's fastest, wettest, high-gloss tire shine. No wiping. It's streak-free, fast-drying, water-resistant. And the jet black wet look lasts for weeks. Amazing. Less than 60 seconds for all four tires, and you're done. Jet wet. Because wetter is better. Hey, Ray, can you believe that they got Marcus Camby to do the commercial with the ESPN and the magazine and not me and you? I don't know, Chris, but, you know, Marcus was pretty good. But we've been perfect for this part. I know, especially we both subscribe to ESPN the magazine. We both got the free police check. Call now for ESPN the magazine. Just a dollar an issue, and the police pullover is free. You know, Chris, we need to work on this, this paddle yo-yo thing. I think that's what ESPN the magazine wants. Yeah, you're probably right, Ray. Call now. The Emmy and Peabody Award-winning Sports Century, the top 50 and beyond, has done it again. A second Emmy win for the series Critics Call. Arguably the most comprehensive sports documentaries ever pieced together. You know what made them heroes. He just never messed with Rocky Marciano. We show you what made them human. He drank. He chased girls. You'll only see the award-winning Sports Century on ESPN Classic. Every weeknight at 8 Eastern and Pacific. When Dennis Erickson took over the head coaching job at Washington State in 1987, it was a homecoming of sorts. In the spring of 1970, Erickson was a graduate assistant and worked with the secondary at Washington State. It was only the second coaching position of Erickson's career. In the fall of 1970, he became the head coach at Billings Central High School, where he produced a record of 7-2 before losing in the state championship game. After coaching at Miami, Erickson would return to the Pacific Northwest, first with the Seattle Seahawks, then at Oregon State. Now we return to our 1988 Pac-10 showdown between the Washington State Cougars and the UCLA Bruins here on ESPN Classic. 
UCLA jumped in front of Washington State behind the leg of Alfredo Velasco, who hit field goals from 47 and 23 yards out late in the first quarter and early in the second to give the Bruins a 6-3 lead. We rejoin the game with 9.13 to go in the half. UCLA has the ball on the Washington State 42, first down and 10 after a Cougar punt. Bob, I have the feeling that when you're sitting in this position first down on the opposition 42 yard line and uh, you've been kind of wobbling around good football teams now stick in the end zone especially when they haven't scored in the previous right. two drives but um, you uh, you went to one of these schools did you weren't you up in the Washington State at one time aren't you a Cougar I'm a Cougar huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wish that hairstyle had come back <laughs> you could scratch your head you look worry good about though it. You're an outstanding athlete, somebody was telling me. Oh, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Running from the uh, house to the bookstore and back. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got you. That's a gotcha. Season ain't over. <laughs> UCLA back. Aikman looks deep. Goes down the pipe. Got his man. 25 yard line. No good, they say now. The ball came down. Didn't the hold it when he hit the ground. For Reggie Moore. Moore. Five yard line. Moore has great speed. Hardy Holmes perhaps defense. the most speed of any of the wide receivers, and he couldn't hang on. Well, was thrown a little bit low, but certainly catchable. Somebody's got to come up and make some plays. Just inside the 42, second down and 10. Ball is back in at tailback. Good throw, good catch by Mike Farr, out of bounds, down at the 27 or 8. And that'll be a first down for the Bruins. UCLA leading 6-3 with nine minutes to go in the first half. It's 3-3 after the first quarter, and Velasco with a second field goal, giving the Bruins their lead. Ledbetter is now back in the game for Washington State. From the 28, Toy is in a pullback for the Bruins now. More a Toy. Aikman throwing again. Keating makes the catch on the sideline. David, a junior out of Salinas. And the Bruins now have the football first and goal at the Washington State 9. Aikman did a nice job of looking to his left and then comes back and finds Keating. He looks away to his left and then it comes all the way back to this side of the field as the presence of mind to know where his receivers should be, finds the defensive men and throws between them. Now he's completed passes to six different receivers. Eric Ball inside the five and Brought down at the four. Fifty seven, Keith Rice, the middle linebacker, makes the play for the Cougars. Look defensively. Metcalf number 40 is getting blocked. He's their leading tackle. He's on the ground. And on the ground, good as Zeno 79 finishes him off. Second and goal for the Bruins from the Cougar four. Aikman rolls it out. Don's going to go for it himself and just misses the corner. He's about six inches short of the goal line as he literally flew through the air and out of bounds. It's so important to have a quarterback that can move and just put so much more pressure on the defense. Aikman and Rosenball both have the ability to move around. UCLA trying to score the first touchdown of the day in the ball game. They've got Eric Ball now back in there behind Estwick. Estwick. Touchdown. UCLA.
Lesko in for the extra point try now. Maggio gets a good snap, and the kick is good. At 7.49 to go in the first half. UCLA Bruins now lead by 10. Going for 12 rounds is all about stamina. That's why I like high endurance from Old Spice. No deodorant protects better. And it lasts longer because it evaporates more slowly. Want proof? If you're not convinced, Old Spice will buy you a stick of your old stuff. <laughs> Let me put it this way. High endurance lasts longer than I do. I'm working on that. turbo you may even have 227 horses but if you don't have the control of Subaru all-wheel drive you can't touch this the Subaru WRX here at last that's the beauty of Subaru all-wheel drive this Sunday on ESPN Classic. Why do you do it? Drive so fast. I don't know. Just do it. He spent his life in the fast lane. But it wasn't until he faced death that he learned how to live. You spent your whole life trying not to die. Academy Award winner Al Pacino stars in a real classic. Bobby Deerfield. This Sunday night at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Only on ESPN Classic. With UCLA still leading Washington State 13-3, we pick up the action late in the first half after a Bruin timeout. All right, the Bruins have had their offensive conference. It is first and goal, Washington State eight-yard line. And Aikman, he's been putting the offensive load so far today for the Bruins, sets up. Gives it to Eric Ball. Eric Ball. And Ball gets to the four-yard line. Cougars had a shot of it. Shot Andy Holmes back the around the line of scrimmage, but missed him, and Artie Holmes finally brought him down. I can't imagine that Eric Ball could carry, carry the ball last week. 11 times and gained 10 yards there. Uh, talking with some of the coaches from UCLA, they said he, he went the wrong way a couple of times. Uh, they, they had a tough time running the football anyway, but when you go the wrong way, it even makes it worse. On second and goal from the four, ball again. Don't give it to him. Out of bounds on the one yard line. He hit the marker in the corner. But they mark him out six inches short of the goal line. Ledbetter and Moton making the defensive play for the Cougars. Well, today, Eric has 11 carries and has picked up 27 yards. He kicked the pylon over there on the corner of the end zone. He, his foot was in the end zone, but the ball never made it. Danny Thompson comes in and brings the play, number 15. He steps up into a slot. Give it to Aikman. Keeps it. Throws it. Back of the end zone. Touchdown. Thompson. Danny Thompson is a senior. Has not played very much because of all the other tailbacks. A nice fake into the line of scrimmage to the lower right of your screen. Thompson, number 15, catches his third pass of the season and his third touchdown pass of the season. UCLA now trying to make it a 20-3 ball game with Velasco in. And he does. 2-15 to play in the first half. That is the eighth different receiver to catch at Aikman pass. Americans have places to go, things to do, so they go Midas. Alignment, we do that. Air conditioning, we do that. Brakes, we do that. So for total car care by certified technicians, who does it all? Midas, we do that. Baby, I'm amazed the way you love As the Beatles went their separate ways, Paul
Paul McCartney fell in love and launched one of the greatest bands of all time, Wings. Wingspan, the ultimate Paul McCartney and Wings collection, now available for the first time ever. tracks on two CDs. Includes 17 platinum singles from nine number one Paul McCartney and Wings albums. With a little thought, we can help it out. We can make this whole damn thing work out. Special packaging includes a 24-page booklet featuring rare photographs and a personal introduction by Paul McCartney himself. Order Wingspan now through this special TV offer and receive an exclusive limited edition Wings pin. Wingspan, over two and a half hours of the best from Paul McCartney and Wings. All for just $19.98 plus $4.95 shipping and handling. Wingspan, 40 digitally remastered tracks on two CDs for the first time ever. McCartney's Wingspan, two CD set, and receive your free pin. Call the number on your screen or send 1998 CD, 1598 cassette, plus 495 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Order now. ESPN Classic knows the fastest way to get you ready for this year's big race. The Indy Fast Lane. It's 12 full throttle hours of classic Indy 500 action. Legendary champions in the greatest races in Indy history. Like Alan Sue Sr.'s dramatic win in 87. His son Al Jr.'s first win in 92. And Rick Mears' record fourth win in 91. Before the big race Sunday, catch the Indy Fast Lane. Saturday starting at 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 Central, only on ESPN Classic. Another look at it. Good fake. It's fake, and I think if, uh, if I were the defensive team, I'd keep somebody on Thompson. He's caught three passes and three for touchdowns. He only plays when he gets inside the five-yard line. He's that motion back. He's a good receiver, a good blocker. He's an intelligent kid. He's a senior. He's been around the program. I'd keep an eye on him if I were the defense. All right, Maggio kicks it off, and Kirk really nails this one way up in the air, and that affords you good coverage. Victor Wood, number 13, looking for a crack. And he gets a little, but not enough, as he comes down, crashing to the ground at the 25-yard line. Mark McGill makes the tackle. So now let's see if the Cougars can generate some offense, because the UCLA defensive people just haven't given them much opportunity Mark here in the last Crow, couple of possessions. Ten on their own 25. Time for Rosenball to make something happen. The last three possessions, three plays and out. You won't beat this UCLA bunch with a tango offense, will you? One, two, three, kick, huh? Down the middle, got a man. Pass good to the 40-yard line, caught by Tim Stolworth. He plays in that slot back position, called slot back in this offense. Simply means white out. Right. Three wide receivers. Three wide receivers. It's one of them's a slot. Cougars coming quickly now. First down at the 40. Rosenball. Got some green grass in front of him, so he'll take off. Dives for the marker. And a penalty flag, and the Bruins are going to get whacked here. Eric Smith pursued him too long. Well, that flag is against the Bruin defender. Personal foul. He's already out of bounds right here. That's a poor decision by the linebacker, Smith. That's a big play for the offense. It helps the offense. Having been there, the, offensively you feel like, hey, we've made a couple of nice gains on our first two plays. Now they give us 15 more. We've got a minute and 45 left. Let's go down and get a touchdown before halftime. First down, UCLA 35-yard line. Yeah. 
Rosenbaugh stepping back to look over the defense. Now he calls his play and goes on to center. And tripped up. Number 66. Jim Waller, the nose guard. Saw him step back, reached up, grabbed his ankle. Steve Mayer also. When he tried to take off up the middle on the quarterback draw. Big Jim had a hold of him. I've always loved working on computers, and in the Army, that's what I do. I set up networks, I troubleshoot, I basically do things I would have never dreamed I've been able to do before. If you never thought about the U.S. Army or Army Reserve, think about this. There are 212 ways for you to become a soldier and work at a job you'll love. Call for this free video to find out which job is right for you. I'd never really thought of the Army as a choice. Your free video will also give you an idea of what Army life is like, how you can earn money for college, even what questions to ask your recruiter. I'm going to walk away with a lot of memories, a lot of friends, and something that's going to change me for the rest of my life. Call 1-800-959-ARMY for your free video and discover the 212 ways you can be an Army of One. If you would ask me a year ago if I'd be here doing this, uh, I could have never imagined it. I love what I do. I love doing it for the Army. On ESPN Classic, there's a fan for every sport and a sport for every fan. And now it's easy for one to find the other. Watch Game of the Night at 9. You'll catch a different sport every night. Monday Night Baseball. Always ahead. Tuesday Fight Night. A knockout. Wednesday Night College Football. The Top Rivalry. Thursday Night College Basketball. Slamming Hoops. And Friday Night NFL. Legendary Matchups. Saturday Night NHL. And Sunday Night, it's Real Classics. Game of the Night. Every night, only on ESPN Classic. While Troy Aikman was rewriting the UCLA record books in 1988, Washington State quarterback Tim Rosenbach was not doing too shabby of a job either. That season, Rosenbach led the nation in passing efficiency with a 162 rating. He was later selected as a first round supplemental draft choice of the Arizona Cardinals in 1989. Of course, Troy Aikman went on to lead the Dallas Cowboys to three Super Bowl titles. Let's get back to our Pac-10 showdown between Washington State and UCLA from 1988, right here on ESPN Classic. Timeouts remaining for Washington State, a pair, as well as the Bruins, and you're now at 141. And Jim Waller's tackle resulting in the better part of the 100 yards lost, so it's going to be second down at 13. Volleyball match tonight against Brigham Young at 8 p.m. Pauley Pavilion. It hasn't, <clears throat> it hasn't been the kind of game, Bob Grisha, that I expected. But then, that's... Uh, Oftentimes the case, isn't it? <laughs> I thought these guys might be going up and down the field for a while. They haven't. Frozen ball with that option, turns it in the middle, yeah, takes off. And inside the 30, they'll mark him at the 29, and he's going to be at least four yards short of the first down. Washington State came in with the with the high-powered offense, averaging over 500 yards in total offense a game. The first two drives were impressive, and then the defense of UCLA took over, as we mentioned in the opening, a very good defense. And uh, Rosenball and their offense has not done anything the last three possessions. They really need to get on the board here as they're going down towards halftime so they can come out in the second half with a little momentum. They have one timeout remaining now with UCLA leading 20 to three. A pair of field goals from Velasco. The second one gave UCLA the lead after Washington State had picked up a 48-yard field goal from Henson. And now they've put two touchdowns on the boards to go with those uh, two field goals. And right now, Tim Rosenball trying to hatch up a touchdown for the Cougars. Let's pause five seconds right here so our station can tell you who they are. All right, number 48, Doug Klein, linebacker. Okay, thank the you for the UCLA Athletic Department and the Coca-Cola Pirates. For the Bruins. The UCLA they football. set up. They throw a three-man down. Rosenball back very quickly. Bingo sidelines, and it's good. Caught by a column, and uh, that'll be a first down for the Cougars. So he told us that early uh, yesterday. He said, when I look up and I see a man uncovered, he looks at me, I blink my eyes at him, and 
That's really how it works. You can have a running play called, and if somebody is uncovered, they just make eye contact where uh, both of them know what each other is going to do. He just fires it to them. So it's first down at the UCLA 21. 127 to go, first half. Got a hurry. Boy, there comes that outside speed. Carnell Lake and Doug Klein, 31 and 48. Anytime you come to the line of scrimmage, you've got to see somebody lined up like that. He's just going to come from the outside. He looks away from him, never sees him coming. That time, it is Eric Smith. Eric finally getting some indication after getting hit with a 15-yard personal foul for taking him out of bounds. This time, Smith also came from the outside. Anytime you spread all of your receivers out and take anybody uh, in your back out of the backfield, it spreads the defense. But defensively, what they could do is say, we may have you outnumbered if we put some people. And they could find a way, and Bob Field and uh, Tom Hayes, the defensive co coordinators for the UCLA Bruins, have done that. They've put in pressure on Rosenthal, and uh, even though he likes to throw the ball quickly, he has not seen where the blitz is going to come from every time, and they've got to him on several occasions. Well, things have deteriorated considerably for the Cougars after that opening minute or so, or, or five minutes, when they had the ball. They've had five penalties. They've been sacked five times, and they have fumbled once. Yep. So that amounts to 11 mistakes. Yep. It's a very Eddie. aggressive defense, uh, Keith, I was just going to say. They do a lot of different things defensively, and... A lot of speed. They're not big, but they're very quick and very fast. They're backed up now to the UCLA 34, where it's third down. And they've got to go to the 11, so they need 23 yards. Rosenball's pass. Got a man over there. The ball is underthrown and incomplete. Wimberly was over there, but he didn't catch the ball. The ball was thrown down at his feet. If he hits him in the numbers with this, he might still be running. Yeah, it's a poor throw. He is wide open. Oh, looks like he got his hands under him, but I can't tell for sure. He was arguing about it. Yeah. Henson is in now. He had a 48-yarder. This one is a 51-yard try. One 51-yarder. A lot of leg. Oh, good. Good. Right. UCLA 20. Style of offense the Cougars have been used to. They usually scoring touchdowns and not uh, settling for field goals. But uh, great kick. I mean, he not only kicked it 51 yards good, but that ball went. It was up around the top of the uprights when it went through. I bet he kicked that thing 65 yards. Well, he hit it good. He knew he hit it good, and he just needed to check the direction, and immediately, that's in slow motion, he knew it was good immediately. The feeling is familiar. The car is zoom, zoom, zoom. At the all-new Mazda zoom, Protégé 5. Zoom. Yeah, zoom, 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 zoom. Same feeling. New form. Do you dread washing your car? Drowning in soap suds? Tired of rubbing and scrubbing and reaching? Now there's a better way. It's the Simonized Detailer's Brushless Car Wash System. The incredible new system that combines the soft touch of a brushless wash and the rotating action of a power scrubber for a car wash that's simple, fast, and fun. With the Simonized System, simply add car wash concentrate to the soap chamber. Flip the switch, and the Simonized Soft Touch Power Pads whisk away the toughest dirt and grime instantly. Each soft touch power pad is made of the same super soft fibers used in professional car washes for a soft touch that won't damage your finish. And with the no-slip grip, you've got a handle on real cleaning power. It's fun, fast, and it's from Simonize, America's trusted name in car care products since 1911. Right now, through this exclusive TV offer, you can get the Simonize brushless car wash system for just $19.95. And that's not all. If you order now, you'll also receive the Simonize long arm extension, making it easy to wash those hard-to-reach areas like the windshield and roof, truck beds, even your RV. 
We'll also include the simonized wheel and bug brush to handle wheels, headlights, and grills. When you're done with the car, use it on patio furniture, windows, and siding. The entire system is yours for just $19.95, and here's an added bonus. Call now, and we'll add Simonized Car Wash Concentrate, specially formulated so it won't strip wax or damage clear coat finishes. Not enough? Call us right now, and we'll also include the amazing Simonized Surge Sprayer. Turns any garden hose into a high-pressure sprayer, ideal for blasting dirt, sand, and salt, power wash driveways, decks, or sidewalks in record time. Sold separately, these cleaning tools the pros use would cost nearly $50, but you can have it all for only $19.95. Operators are standing by, so have your credit card ready. Order the only car wash system with the Simonized name. The Simonized Detailer's Brushless Car Wash System. Call now. All of us up in the press box thought we had witnessed Richard Petty's death. Sports Century is only on ESPN Classic. Tomorrow at 8, Richard Petty. I didn't think he could possibly survive. Petty came back from the dead. People just don't recover from that. Richard Petty was clearly the king. He dominated the sport like nobody else ever has. Richard Petty. Sports Century, the top 50 and beyond. Every weeknight at 8 Eastern and Pacific. Only on ESPN Classic. Well, some of the fun at halftime there. As we get ready to go with the second half, Washington State will kick off to UCLA. Bruins ranked number one in the country and leading 20 to 6 at halftime. Brian Brown and Sean Wills are deep, standing at the goal line for the UCLA Bruins. And kicking off, Jason Henson who has kicked two big field goals for the Cougars, 48 and 51 yards. Keeps that kickoff low, though. It's at the, about a yard deep in the end zone. Sean Wills getting a chance to run with it, and he can run. Bruins have two touchdowns coming in the first half well, after two field goals. Here is the first one. That's Mark Estwick, the fullback, over the top for their first touchdown. And the second one came through the air. As Troy Aikman faked, fake throws him, bobs it into the back of the end zone, and Danny Thompson pulled it down. And the Bruins will start just over their 28th first down, first snap of the second half. Aikman, been busy today. Shoots it to the sideline, the pass is good to Randy Austin. And now let's check in with Mike Adamley. Well, at least key for Dennis Erickson, the key to this second half is what they can do offensively. Tim Rosenball is going to have to eat up a little more time on the clock. You look at the defensive linemen, especially for Washington State, they were really beat up. A lot of that problem was because they're on the field so long. That can't happen in the second half for the Cougars to have any kind of a chance. Keith? Thank you, Michael. 35-yard line. Second down and four. And the fullback Eastwood gets it and picks up a first down for the Bruins at the 40. The halftime stats. Well, at the bottom of the screen, the time of possession, that's what Mike Adamley was talking about. Almost two for one for UCLA. Number of plays, the UCLA leads, and also total yardage. 237 yards in the first half for UCLA. And a lot of that came in the second quarter. And plus... Five penalties on the Cougars, five sacks, and one fumble. First down, Bruins. Eric Ball. Big hole left side. And Eric Ball explodes to the Washington State 46. really took charge holding the ball for nearly 11 minutes and about scoring the Cougars 17 to 3. And Aikman now on first down looks to load it up. Throws it low and they'll give a catch to Reggie Moore. Both quarterbacks have been low a lot today. They throw it low so they won't have it intercepted. It's the fear of having interceptions. High passes are intercepted. As you take a look at the first half possessions, 
Only one time or two times did they get the ball in uh, Cougar territory. Their second and fourth possessions, and both times they scored once a field goal and once a touchdown. Well, I got a guy like Moore, Bob. I want him with his feet under him. Oh, he sure. You don't, you don't aim to throw it low, but if anything, you throw it from the, from the shoulders down, not any higher. There's a little swing out, set up the screen out here, and it was a little bit slow developing. They were trying to get more into a screen position. Well, it was a little bit slow because Big Bill Page, the offensive tackle, took a little time in getting out there. <laughs> he weighs uh, 275 pounds. That was a, a screen where the wide receiver waits for the lineman, and uh, the lineman was Page on the left side. He's going to block for a second. Now watch 76 Page. Now he says, okay, wait for me, I'm coming. Wait for me, Reggie, I'm coming. Here I come, I'm coming, Reggie. Here I am. No, I can't block those little guys. They're too quick for me. Nine straight completions for Aikman. Gives the ball to Ball. Big hole on that side again. And Eric Ball is inside the 20 and a penalty flag. And probably Cougars are going to get nailed right here for hitting the man well out of bounds. Big block by the fullback, Estwick. That's Larry Thompson. Yeah. You just cannot do this. You cannot, cannot have this amount of, of penalties. Artie Holmes with the personal foul out of bounds and have a winning program. Dennis Erickson has got to get rid of these uh, flagrant fouls. McCracken checks in now. Mike Adamley for a moment. Well, Keith, the UCLA, Terry Donahue, very happy. One of the things that he wanted to reestablish this game was the running attack. They have done that in the first half. They've done it again here in the second half, although Troy Aikman picked up a lot of that yardage in the first half. Maybe why we haven't seen a typical UCLA offense. Remember who they play. Next week, Oregon, then Stanford, and, of course, on November 19th, the grudge match against USC. So maybe they're kind of hiding some of their offense today. They might need it next week, Mike. Up at Eugene. All right, the penalty tacked on puts UCLA first and goal just inside the Cougar nine. And they're running the ball well to start the second half as Eric Ball blows it in. Touchdown. to come and double team down here. The fullback is going to kick out on this block. It'll be a nice hole. The guard is going to get knocked off. He's not even going to make it out there, but they really don't need him. Tight end doubles down. Fullback gets a nice block. A good tough running. And Velasco. Right on the money. So, the opening possession. And UCLA bounds out to a 27-6 lead. America, the war began on a quiet Sunday morning with the ruthless surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. And now, all the infamy, the bravery, and the history of the Second World War is dramatically presented in three monumental motion pictures. Tora, 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 The Longest Day, and Patton, an extraordinary video collection that honors the heroes of combat. Air raid, this is no drill. In the Academy Award-winning epic, Tora, 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 the original story of Pearl Harbor, you'll witness the sudden and deliberate attack on unsuspecting American forces. Oh on the other side of the world, you'll struggle alongside the Allies in their heroic invasion of Normandy during the longest day. Send them to hell. And in Patton, winner of eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture, follow the American general as he leads his troops to victory. I am going to be allowed to fulfill my destiny. Remember those who fought so bravely with these action-filled war films, Tora, 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 which includes a bonus documentary on the bombing of Pearl Harbor, The Longest Day, and Patton. For a limited time, all three powerful motion pictures can be yours for only $29.98. Come on, you bum! Three stellar international casts. Let's go! Three monumental film achievements that capture all the action, anguish, 
and arrogance of war. You'll be proud to add to your video collection these magnificent films that so vividly portray the world's darkest days and freedom's finest hours. God help me, I do love it so. Have your credit card ready and call the number on your screen now to order Tora Tora Tora, The Longest Day in Patton. Three full-length home videos for only $29.98 plus $5.95 shipping and handling. Or send a check or money order to the address shown. Call now. The Ackerman Student Union. It's probably one of the most complete student bookstores I guess I've ever seen on the campus. You can, you can buy just about anything you want. Maybe not a pickup truck, but everything else. Sorry, do a little shopping in there? Yes. Chance. <laughs> well, not counting possessions to run out the half, UCLA has scored five consecutive times. They had the two field goals. Now they've got three touchdowns, and they lead 27 to 6. And they are threatening to slam the door on this one unless the Cougars can give Rosenbaugh and company some field position off this kickoff and they can get it on down the field. Well, they've scored 28 points in every game, at least 28 in every game they've played, and they're averaging 38, so they're going up a little bit different defense here than they faced all year. Sure, this one defense is much tougher. Great speed. That's a high, high kickoff. And it goes to Victor Wood. And Wood gets back to the 21, and that's all. Here are the first half possessions for the Cougars. And early on, it was uh, reasonably good, but uh, they got off in their first possession for their field goal in five plays, but from then on, it went downhill. Well, he fumbled there on the second possession, and then three straight, three plays and out, and that's in the second quarter when uh, UCLA just dominated. Rosenbaugh comes up now. He's 9 out of 14 for 114 yards. Hands the ball off to Swinton, who bounces to the outside, gets a good gain on the play, and will have a first down up around the 32. The individual leaders for the uh, Cougars. Rosenbaugh not having that good of a day for him. Swinton only 28 yards. Steve Broussard home with a sprained ankle. Didn't make the trip. And he was the number one rusher in the Pac-10. They miss him. Goes Swinton again. And he gets three yards up to the 35. Lodish. Mike Lodish. And he got the tackle. Cornell Lake. First two plays in the second half, the Cougars have come out to run a counter play, one to the left, one to the right, trying to reestablish some ground game to get some protection for uh, Rosenbaum. Going to run it again. And Swinton works his way up just over the 38 before Craig Davis brings him down. Tim Rosenbaugh, as he comes up behind that center, is looking at one of the quickest defensive teams of the country, particularly among the linebackers, and this is the comment he had yesterday. Their whole team has great team speed. They're not going to be able to leave the ball hanging in the air, uh, which is something I've, I've tried to work on in practice this week. A lot of zip, a lot more zip on uh, passes, and uh, just reading the defense, and they can run to the ball, but they're still going to play a, the basic same coverages that we've been seeing all year. And you saw an example of it there. He just Randy stood up, Beverly. saw the uncovered man. It was Pelham on the sidelines, and he drilled it right into his chest, and he caught it for a first down. Ball at the Washington State, 46. Paul Carr is in the back Officials time out. He wants a new football. A lot of times when the center gets up there, if the ball is wet or has some dirt or something on it, he can request a new football. So Tim Rosenbaugh now, happy with a clean football, steps up. First down, 46-yard line. For the play action fake. Looks down the middle. Late getting it there, but it's complete. And Stallworth slides away in a penalty flag. So let's look at here. That's a good... Good play by Stallworth. Johnson running Stallworth out of bounds. 
Chance Johnson was the man that got him out of bounds. Might be a face mask, and it is, and it's against UCLA, and probably inadvertent. Stallworth is coming over the middle. Incidental face mask. Yep. Turner, number 24. First yep. down. Gets away from that and picks up some good yardage before Johnson knocks him out of bounds. Incidental grabbing of the face mask, that is to grab and release, and unintentional uh, is only a five yard penalty versus the 15 for twisting it. And that gives Washington State now a first down at the UCLA 29 yard line. And he's now passed 2,000 yards on the season. Formation call from the sideline. There's that little quick pop, and it's caught. Brought in by number 36, Elmer Thomas, a senior from Dallas, Texas. And he moves the ball from the 29 to the 21. When you spread everybody out, out here like this, you've got the defensive end. The thing you're not prepared to do is block these blitzers from both sides. The thing you can do, however, is throw the ball quickly. Two outside guys come. They don't have time, but he gets rid of it. That time he avoided the sack and made a positive play. Swinton back into the ball game, tries to go on the left side, fumbles the football. Down under there somewhere. I think he's got it between his legs. They're fighting over it. I think he was laying on it, and his yep. offensive lineman got in there and tried to get it. So that'll be the center, Fakama. <laughs> Big Dave saw the ball, I guess, rolling around between uh, Swinton's legs, and he dove in there and fetched it. And they retain it at the 21. A good offensive line that Washington State has. Fakama, Mike Utley, the right guard, is uh, being mentioned on some preseason All-Americans. That's him number 60. And Dyko, another man in that offensive line, is very strong ball. On third down, they go with a run, and Swinton is going to have the first down as he fights his way close to the UCLA 15 and Craig Davis with another tackle for the Bruins. Swinton is a 175-pound sophomore. Number two, Notre Dame. Didn't exactly bury Navy today, but they won. And up at uh, Corvallis, USC, leading Oregon State. Miami was a winner today again. So first down, Cougars just short of the Bruins, 15-yard line. Rosenbaugh ran into number 60, Mike Utley, that time. He tried to slide behind Utley. Utley lost his footing, and as he fell down, he impaired the progress of Rosenbaugh. West Virginia put it to the Nittany Lions. Don Neyland's got a good football team. Second down. About nine. Rosenbaugh down the middle. Stallworth at the five to the goal line. Touchdown. He's a fighter. right here Stallworth is going to go down to the inside the linebacker is going to come out as again they're blitzing Rosenball sees it he doesn't have a lot of time the man sees the blitz he comes to the inside breaks the tackle by Turner and makes a great effort to get in for the touchdown Jason Hanson is in for the extra point Harold yeah. Hindley came flying in there and oh she got a piece of that. The kick is good. The effort of Stallworth here as he fights away from the five and he got the last five on his own. 27-13. We were there when you babies really began to boom. We were there when you were a generation on the road. And when you were surrounded by the children of peace and love. We were even there when you had children and love. It's not always peace. And now that you're on the other side of the generation gap, there's no one better to talk to about your changing life insurance needs than the State Farm agent you've always trusted to care for your car, your home, and you. State Farm is there for you because State Farm is there for life. When we first got married, she'd wear really sexy underwear, like you see in underwear ads. After a while, 
She started wearing the kind of underwear that I saw in the hamper when I was a kid. There's something oddly reassuring about thin, washed-out cotton underwear with little yellow flowers. But before you think there's a Jeff Metters back in the ESPN Classic Studios. Here were just some of the news items making headlines in 1988. George Bush defeated Michael Dukakis for the U.S. presidency. Panama's General Manuel Noriega was indicted by the United States for drug smuggling. The war between Iran and Iraq came to a bitter conclusion. And the Army's ban on homosexuals was ruled unconstitutional by a federal appeals court. The first ruling of its kind. Now we return to the 1988 Pac-10 matchup between the Cougars and the Bruins here on ESPN Classic. Well, Star Wars got a touchdown in the books, but I will show you the replay of it, and it could have been called down short. But it wasn't. The kickoff, Goodwin back into the end zone, and they're going to come with it. It is Sean Will. Sean gets a chance to run a little, and he's going to take that chance, but this time it was probably poor judgment because he is stopped short of the 14-yard line. Here's the Stallworth touchdown. His right knee, watch his right knee. He's going to be down right there. Now, the ball should have been marked there about the yard and a half yard line. Both officials are looking at the ball to see if he gets in. Knee is clearly down. Yeah. But the Cougars will take it. Trailing 27 to 13. And UCLA starting just short of their own 14. Arbuckle, the tight end. Number 81 is in there playing quite a bit today, coming off of an injured knee. Aikman's going to throw it. Troy goes down the middle to Arbuckle. And he is brought down just at the 20. Pickup of about six yards. Bob O'Neill made the tackle. Arbuckle's had some knee problems. He had surgery on one of his knees uh, last year in the offseason. And uh, hurt it about uh, three or four games ago, and this is his first action. Steve Axman, the offensive coordinator, wants to get him in for three or four plays. You know, they've got two outstanding tight ends uh, playing on this ball club. Second and four, it's Eric Ball. Cuts it back inside, big hole for him, drops the ball. Cougars may have it. Yes, they do. So the Bruins turn it over just short of the 40. Eric Ball with a good cut, great blocking, and was stay recovered on his way almost. That's the blocking to the right side of your screen. Number 40, Metcalf gets pushed to the outside. Ball makes a good effort and just relaxes at the very end. Drops the ball, it's on the ground, and the Cougars cover it. Big play for the Cougars. Marlon Brown, number 99. Man on the ball at Washington State now. With an opportunity at the UCLA 37 after the turnover. He's looking to it in. Three wideouts, bottom of the picture. Clinton goes to the top. That's four wideouts, and Rosenbaugh takes off down the sideline. And they give him the first down. He got just beyond the marker. And you got a Bruin very slow to get up. Number 66, that's Jim Waller, the UCLA nose guard, getting up very gingerly, hobbling. Something wrong with his left ankle or left leg, and Jim's going to have to leave the ball game. Ballmakers jumped all over those Wisconsin Badgers. <laughs> so it's a first down for Washington State. Just inside the UCLA 27. Rosenball's pass is incomplete. Intended for Victor Wood. Had him wide open, too, and Rosenball knows it. Play action held the linebackers, and he was right in the gap between the linebackers and defensive backs. And that should have been a completion. 
Rosenthal came into the game averaging 71% completion. Going for 18 touchdowns and only seven interceptions. Second and 10. That's some heat this time. Gets loose. He's got another first down. So both quarterbacks running a lot today. Clock stops at 7.24 to go in the third quarter. Rosenthal came into the game today averaging eight runs per game, eight scrambles, if you will, for over 300 yards. So it's a big part of their offense. And uh, whenever you've got an offense that spreads their receivers and the quarterback that can run, it gives you extra problems. Bruins 13-yard line, first down, Cougars. Swinton. Pops a tackle, and if he kept his balance, he's in the end zone, but he didn't. However, he's down close to another first down, and this time they're gonna, they pick up the contact with the ground and mark him at the Bruins 6, where it'll be first and goal, Washington State. Well, that big turnover that the Cougars got on the fumble has really given some life to this team. As I mentioned, they've scored 28 points in every game, and four times they've scored 40 points or more, so they're used to scoring points. Second down at about three. Swinton again, and touchdown, Cougar. So they answer right back, and now we're getting ourselves into a circumstance where we've got a little bit of a ball game here, don't we? Exactly what Terry Donahue didn't want. When we're on top of them, keep them down. It's a spread offense, but watch to the right side of the screen. That's Dyko, number 68. Utley is 60. Wellsand is 82. The tight end all getting good blocks for Swinton. And it's a uh, an eight-point ball game. And if he makes the hit, it's down to seven. Hanson's kick. Good. Good. At 6.45 to go in the third quarter, it's now a 27-20 UCLA lead. I just had a baby, and with all the added expenses, I just couldn't make ends meet. Collectors kept calling. I considered bankruptcy, but then I heard of Garden State's free counseling service. Garden State is a nonprofit agency that works with your creditors to make an affordable payment plan for all your bills. Now all my bills are paid on time, and I can plan for my child's future. Call now for your free consultation. Call 1-800-99-BILLS. A special announcement from the American Property Network. You can buy cars for as low as $29 per month. Choose from thousands of cars repossessed and seized by the U.S. Marshal, IRS, FBI, and private organizations. Call 1-800-370-2060. Foreclosed homes and distressed properties are selling for as low as $199 per month. Call 1-800-370-2060. For current auction listings, call 1-800-370-2060. Call toll-free. This Sunday on ESPN Classic. Why do you do it? Drive so fast. I don't know. Just do it. He spent his life in the fast lane. But it wasn't until he faced death that he learned how to live. You spent your whole life trying not to die. Academy Award winner Al Pacino stars in a real classic, Bobby Deerfield. This Sunday night at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, only on ESPN Classic. With UCLA still leading 27 to 20, we move ahead to late in the third quarter. Washington State has the ball on their own 16, first down and 10 after a UCLA punt. Here comes Swinton. From the 16 to the 19, and Craig Davis gets another tackle. Boy, he's made a lot of tackles today at that inside linebacker position. UCLA rotates their inside linebackers. Davis and Johnson start, but Klein and Argo also play a lot. In fact, those four are uh, the leading tacklers. Four of the top six tacklers on the ball club are the inside linebackers. Second down, seven. It's a good situation. Here they come. There he goes. Whoa, I'll say there he goes. 
Nobody back there. Touchdown. No flag. Eighty-one yard touchdown for Tim Stallworth. Big play. There's nobody here in the middle of the field. UCLA comes up and shows their defense too quickly. They're putting these guys right here is Stallworth. He's just going to go down the middle of the field. The quarterback sees there's nobody in the middle. He knows he doesn't have a lot of time, but just give me a little time. It's a quick pass. He threw it 15 yards for a long touchdown. And this crowd at the Rose Bowl has grown very quiet. You can't do that. You can't show your defense that far ahead of time to have established a very good quarterback. Henson's kick is good, and with 12 seconds to play in the third quarter, you've got a tie ball game. Top ranked UCLA 27, Washington State 27. We told you that Washington State could score. Now watch. Watch, watch the blue guys. All these guys are going to blitz right in here. Everybody's blitzing. Nobody's back here in the middle to help out. You've got everybody spread out. There's nobody in the middle of the field. The quarterback sees it. You got one on one down the middle of the field. Short, quick throw. You've got some speed. And Stallworth, who is the cousin of the uh, former Pittsburgh Steeler uh, wide receiver, John Stallworth, certainly knows how to get into the end zone. Ooh, hello. He's got six receptions today and two touchdowns. That gives him seven on the year touchdowns. He came in with 35, 36 receptions, led this ball club. And this is a little bit of what Dennis Erickson bought, brought with him to Washington State. This style of offense, spread. Score a lot of points. He also took it to Wyoming, filled it there, and Idaho. Well, if they hadn't made all those mistakes in the first half, you might have a totally different thing. But at least they're even now at 27. And this is Sean Wills at the goal line. And he's one man away from really breaking it big. And that one man was Chris Moton. That was but still very good field position for the opening snap in this possession. A big series of plays that last time when Washington State got that touchdown. UCLA coming out and just really showing them what they were going to do. They had been disguising very well for the most part of the ball game, and that time Rosenball just read it. Sure Donahue just telling him, all right, settle now. Don't try to get it all back in one play. No, we just need a, we need a score on this drive. Just take your time. Brian Brown carrying for UCLA and a solid lick on the line. Third quarter is over. Both these Washington teams have been a problem for UCLA this football season. We've got 15 minutes to go in this one. We got a big problem. Problem? New Roundup. New Roundup? What now? It's twice as strong, faster than ever. It'll shrivel you all the way down to the roots. So we can't grow back? New Roundup. No root, no weed, no problem. Americans have places to go, things to do, so they go Midas. Air conditioning, we do that. Oil changes, we do that. Batteries and mufflers, too. For total car care by certified technicians, who does it all? Midas. We do that. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Better than he was before. Better. Stronger. Faster. Introducing the all-new 270-horsepower Chevy Trailblazer, the most powerful mid-sized sport utility in the world. It's one strong SUV. The new 2002 Chevy Trailblazer, like a rock. ESPN Deportes está aquí. Ahora ESPN es en español. Los domingos por la noche no se pierda Major League Baseball. Y muy pronto la NFL y boxeo. ESPN Deportes. Los domingos a las siete y media. This is ESPN Classic. We pick up the action early in the fourth quarter with UCLA and Washington State tied at 27. The Bruins have the ball, third down and eight from the Washington State 44. A 
Aikman with a deep drop. Comes it down the middle. Pass is caught by Reggie Moore. Having a big day. First down, Washington State, 26-yard line. Big play for UCLA. Don't panic. A critical play. Let's pick up the first down. And Aikman hits Reggie Moore. Moore came into this game with five straight games where he had caught three or more passes. Today he's caught six for 75. Brian Brown is the tailback. It's his series. He's got three good ones. You've got to give him some playing time. This is Brown breaking it big. Brown is down inside the 15-yard line. Like the old Red Arback Curry with the Celtics has been said a million times, you gotta know how many points it takes to keep them happy. Terry Donahue was saying about his three fine running backs, he says it's like winning a million dollars in the lottery. So that's the good part. The bad part is you have to pay taxes on it. <laughs> First down, Bruin trying to take the lead on this possession. We're at the Washington State 15. Here's your pass distribution. 13 have gone to wide receivers and seven to the tight end. Brown's got it. Caught from behind as he tried to go to the outside. Brought down is Dan down by Grayson. Dan Grayson. Back. He is from Woodland, California. West Virginia beat up Penn State today, 51-30, to remain undefeated. The game was played in Morgantown. Here, we're all even at 27-27. Washington State coming up with 21 points in that third quarter. Now the Bruins are trying to regain the lead. They led at halftime, 20-6. Aikman, incomplete. Ball intended for Mike Farr. This is the play that produced the tie game. Tim Rosenbaugh to Tim Stallworth. Stallworth breaking completely free as the tackle was missed and the play was good for 81 yards. The extra point tied it at 27. So it's a bit closer game than I think a lot of people thought it was going to be. Third, uh, third down and eight. Aikman, good protection and the pass incomplete. Arbuckle was out there, but so Arbuckle was somebody else. Complete. Who was the other man out there? Brown? Yeah, he was going. Yeah, he was going for Arbuckle. He he expected, it looked like Arbuckle. Didn't he pull away but from that's it? That's the problem. Arbuckle just pulled up to the bottom left. The bottom receiver is going to go down and break to the outside. The tight end is going to come down and break out. Now watch him. He's throwing it to Arbuckle. Arbuckle just stands there. He pulled himself away from it thinking Brown was yeah. going to make the catch. Yeah. Velasco 30 a 30-yard field goal try now to give the Bruins the lead. Plenty of leg, and it's good. At 11.39 to go in the ball game, the Bruins are back on top by a score of 30-27 to 27 as Velasco hits the 30-yard field goal. Just like mom used to make, huh? What? Never mind. Strawberry? Don't mind if I do. He's out, and it's all over for England. Typical. Home Dixon. Righto, sir. Are you still playing cell phone roulette while you're driving? What you need is the Copilot Speaker Pro. It's a hands-free speaker phone system that plays through your car stereo. Make sure Charlie Mitchell has a chance to review it. That's right. Now you can turn your cell phone into a hands-free speaker phone with a rich, bold sound of your car stereo. Guess what, Mommy? My teacher put my drawing up on the blackboard. Why get tangled up in wires or mess with sticky goo on your dashboard what? installing some tiny, tinny what? speaker you can hardly no, hear? The Copilot Speaker Pro installs in three seconds flat. 
without a single wire and plays through the big speakers on your car stereo. The Universal Cradle fits any make and model cell phone. Just plug the one-piece unit into your cigarette lighter and set a car radio button to 96.1 FM. When you get a call, just press that button and you can talk and listen hands-free. You'll be able to drive safely with both hands on the wheel, no matter how much you use your cell phone. And you'll hear the other party loud and clear through your car stereo. Yeah, go down to 1355 Riverside, okay? Got it. When you're done, simply go back to your favorite radio station or tape. Use two different cars? The Copilot Speaker Pro can transfer from one car to another as easily as you do. It's the best hands-free speaker phone system you can get, and it's yours for only $29.95. But wait! Call now and get this special Samsonite key ring, a $14.95 value free. No more broken fingernails. Keys detach this easily, and there's even a built-in flashlight. So order your Copilot Speaker Pro now. To order your Copilot Speaker Pro system, Call toll-free 1-800-207-6363 or send check or money order for $29.95 plus shipping and handling to Copilot, P.O. Box 9243, Central Islip, New York. Call now, 1-800-207-6363. And you thought teen pop and bubblegum music was a recent phenomenon. Consider these hits an artist which dominated the airways back in 1988. Tiffany scored a top ten hit with Could Have Been. Debbie Gibson's Shake Your Love was a radio and MTV darling. And Seasons Change by Exposé, Escape Club's Wild Wild West, and Taylor Dane's I'll Always Love You were all top 20 hits that year. Now we return to our 1988 college football matchup between Washington State and UCLA. We rejoin the action with 8 minutes 30 seconds remaining in the game. UCLA still leads 30 to 27 over Washington State. But the Cougars have the ball on the Bruins' 42-yard line, first down and 10. Rosenball back. Wants to go down the middle and nobody there. Now it takes off. And that's a penalty flag. He gets his first down on that when he's hit out of bounds by Carnell Lake. That's a frustration foul more than anything else. As you take a look at the end of the play, that's just frustration right there. Clearly a foul. You know, we mentioned that the, the Cougars are the most penalized team in the Pac-10. Well, UCLA is right there with them. They have, uh, they're eighth in, the, in penalties in the, in the Pac-10. UCLA today has seven penalties for 80 yards. The thing that's frustrating when you watch a team in the seventh or eighth week of the season to be making little mistakes like the Cougars were making procedure calls in the first half. And it hurt them on two occasions. Rosenbaum gives it to Swinton. He's still turning. And on first down from the just inside the 23, he carries the ball down inside the 17. Last week, UCLA... Troy Donahue, the first time they've been ranked number one in a long, long time. And I think there's a special kind of pressure that goes with a number one team. You know, Miami has been ranked number one for so long. And Oklahoma, they kind of get used to it. But I think you, have, you hang that number one uh, on, a, on a new team. I think they get to the feel a little bit differently than they do without. Yeah, and every guy that comes to town is all jacked up, too, isn't he? Yep. They go back to Swinton again, and Swinton trying for the first down. He had to get inside the 13. And it appears he's inside the 12. And it is the first down. Correct myself. I mean, Terry Donahue, yeah. not <laughs> Troy. <laughs> well, you get I, Troy's attention. Yeah, I'm sure that Terry says that's all right because <laughs> they take that quarterback name any time. 30 27 UCLA leading by three seven 18 to play Swinton leads again over the left side and gets good help from Maholsky and Husky and they're down to about the five they're, they're uh, chipping off some yardage now on first down runs Bob look at that there's another at seven yards well, they're doing it with their offensive line their big offensive line and they're power running with a one-back set. And as I mentioned earlier, I've never seen a team, Dennis Erickson's team, with, with a stronger running game from a one-back set. 
Clinton has 106 yards now on 24 carries. Rosenball keeps it, pulls it down, and takes off for the corner, and he's down to about the one. That'll be, I think, the first down. Matt Darby makes the tackle. Matt Darby made that tackle there, but that's the first time today I've called his name. Number 43. It's a counter play. Both of the linemen go the opposite direction. Now he bootlegs it back. Nobody has opened downfield. He just gets as much of it as he can. Now Darby, 43, is going to come in right at the end to make sure he doesn't get into the end zone. So it is first and goal from the one, Washington State. Swinton, touchdown. My goodness, they made it look easy. And the Cougars have gone back to the lead. You're right, they did make it look very easy. And as I mentioned earlier in the ball game, this is only the second time all year, or now the third, that Cherry Donahue and the Bruins have been behind. And here's a very big point right here. If this extra point is successful, it's a four-point lead rather than three. 6-21 to play in the game. It's good. So the nation's number one football team with 6-21 to play is behind 34-30. Why don't you get us something to cool this fire down? I got just the thing. I got two laws for that fire. With a great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. That's, that's not that bad. Get ready to move. It's time to submit to the rhythm. With Pulse, two CDs or two cassettes of non-stop throbbing energy. can order this collection online at musicspace.com. This is the perfect party collection with over two hours of pulse-pounding beats. get this 30-track collection in any store. From techno to house, every song on Pulse is guaranteed to make you sweat. It's a beautiful Order this collection by Rush Delivery. Feel the pulse and get it now. To order, have your credit card ready and call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com. Two CDs, $26.99. Two cassettes, $21.99. And all on this line for the Dallas Stars. Just by Hall. Shot. Dennis Erickson right there could be about to breathe the richest moment of his football coaching career. But this man, Terry Donahue, he watched his Bruins come back against Washington and win it late. And looks like they're going to have to do it if they ought to win against Washington State. 34-30.
Cougars with 6.21 to play. And mind you, these Cougars are doing it against the team rated number one in the country. so good and I thought the Bruin defense would be looked a little weary I think that is what's really concerning Terry Donahue is the fact that his defense has not stopped the Cougars in the second half Hanson kicks it off high hangs up there and it's Brian Brown fumbles the ball Washington State's got it at the UCLA 37-yard line. Recovered by the kicker, Hanson. And Brown is down and out on the field. Now getting up just ever so slowly. The middle return, and Brown has got some good yardage. Right there, the ball is stripped free. Good tackle. You know, I think Brian Brown, as I'm watching him, while you watch the replay go off the field, I think he's got a separated shoulder. It looks for all the world like that. And the kicker, Hanson, the freshman from Spokane, comes down and covers the ball. And suddenly, with 6.13 to play in the ball game, there's a dark cloud on UCLA's horizon. John Diggs, number 22. Hits in there, knocks the ball free. He's got a separated shoulder. He didn't get it on the hit. Maybe he got it on everybody piling on afterwards. I think his pride is going more than anything else. Rosenbaugh and uh, here we get a penalty flag. And that is either procedure or too much time. It's against Washington State. That is the fifth time in the ball game they've been hit that ball. Well, Oregon's close to within one of Arizona State, and Southern Cal is leading by 12, but Southern Cal's still got to go to Tempe. Both start, start against the offense. Off, still, still first down. Boy, it's a time now to keep your poise. I mean, you've got a chance to upset yep. the number one team in the country. You can't afford to make those kind of mistakes. Right now, the Bruins have really got to dig in. The ball is back here, the 42. And uh, the UCLA defense answers with a big play. Paul Carr in at running back, relieving Swinton. And uh, there's no chance. The Bruins came blowing in. Marcus Patton with a big play. Marcus Patton. He's about the fifth string outside linebacker. He's an aspiring attorney. He says, when I get out of school, to be a barrister, but uh, outstanding play. They were good trying time. to give Swinton a little rest there, yep. and uh, it was really expensive, wasn't it? The loss is all the way back from the 37 to the 47 of Washington State. Huge loss. Pass caught by Stalwart. He gets back to the 41 of UCLA. Now time becomes so important. Both teams have all three of their times out remaining. But the clock shows now 5, 12, and counting. Stallworth looked like he was uh, hurting a little bit as he ankle. comes yeah. off the field. It will be third down and 14 for Washington State. End of timeout right here. Third and 14, looking for a big play to keep the ball. Always prepared. Always alert. Always on guard. by more families than any other security company in America. No one has more advanced monitoring technology or better trained people to help keep you safe from burglary, fire, flood, carbon monoxide, and more. 
Call now to get ADT installed for as little as $99. And get a free mobile 911 phone to help protect you wherever you go. ESPN Classic knows the fastest way to get you ready for this year's big race. The Indy Fast Lane. It's 12 full throttle hours of classic Indy 500 action. Legendary champions in the greatest races in Indy history. Like Alan Sr.'s dramatic win in 87. His son Al Jr.'s first win in 92. And Rick Mears' record fourth win in 91. Before the big race Sunday, catch the Indy Fast Lane. Saturday starting at 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 Central, only on ESPN Classic. Here were some of the runaway hits on the big screen in 1988. Robin Williams starred in Good Morning Vietnam. Cher and Nicolas Cage were moonstruck. Tom Selleck, Steve Gutenberg, and Ted Danson charmed audiences in Three Men and a Baby. The children across the nation wanted to know who framed Roger Rabbit. Our 1988 blockbuster matchup between the Washington State Cougars and the UCLA Bruins continues on ESPN Classic. Rosenbaugh gets it off, down the middle, pass is caught, good for a first down, UCLA 25, Victor Wood. Zone coverage, UCLA defenders are just going to play an area, he's going to go downfield and circle around now, the inside linebacker to the left side of your screen comes up when Rosenbaugh gets out of the pocket to start running. So the flare control was really the quarterback, Rosenball, which opened up the field for the completion. At the Bruin, 25. Swinton is in there at tailback, or the single back. And he's got some room. And he's down close to the 15. Craig Davis, another tackle for UCLA. And the ball is marked at the 16, at the time remaining, 4.05. The clock running, and Washington State leading 34-30 over the top-ranked team in the country. And if you just joined us, we mentioned earlier that Washington State is averaging 38 points a game and over 500 yards in total offense. Fumble, ball rolling around, and finally it is spotted by Swinton, the, eye of the, the running the back. Ball squirted right through the hands of Rosenbaugh and was rolling around for what seemed like an interminable period of, look at this thing roll around. He didn't see it. And the Bruin does, but he can't get to it. Finally, Swinton spots it. Donahue's got to be dying a slow death, as does Erickson on the sideline, just watching the ball on the ground. Bruins now spend the timeout. To stop the clock, they've got two remaining at 3.25 to play. gave it the power of 227 horses. We gave it the control of all-wheel drive. But the spirit of a three-time World Rally Champion, that it had to earn. Meet the turbocharged rally-bred Subaru WRX. That's the beauty of Subaru all-wheel drive. Every time you post your resume on the web, you put your dreams, your hopes, your future on the line. Don't get lost in cyberspace. Come to thingamajob.com and connect with a career counselor who will match you with the right opportunity. Thingamajob.com. Life 2.0 begins here. Football is resting at the UCLA 19-yard line in the possession of Washington State. It is third down and four, and 34-30, the Cougars lead. Rosenbaugh to the corner of the end zone, incomplete. Look at Hanson into the ball game, the place kicker. He's kicked the 48-yarder. He's kicked a 51-yarder, and now he's got a chance to make it a seven-point Washington State lead with this effort. And at 3.20 to play, 
that would force UCLA if they could score to go for two. A lot more, lot more pressure on 36 yards. Hooked it left. True freshman out of Spokane, Washington. A 48 and a 51 yarder. And now a 36 yarder to really put the heat on the Bruins. I think he felt more pressure on that 36-yard field goal than he felt on those on those longer field goals at the beginning of the ball game. Don't get all moaning and groaning. As a true freshman, he's going to be 17, 18 years old. Reminds me of when Donahue and the Bruins were down to Washington yep. in the late in the fourth quarter. Very much the same. And Aikman brought him back for a touchdown. Trojans now moved out to a 20-point lead against Oregon State. All right, here it is from the 20 with Eric Ball back in at the tailback spot. And Aikman back to throw. On first down, goes to the tight end, Randy Austin. And Austin is up near the 30 and could have a first down for the Bruins. Austin is limping a little bit and is asking to be taken out of the ball game. He's caught five for 66. David Keating comes in as a receiver. Replacing him. Here's where Poise takes over. Senior Poise, perhaps. 305, clock running. Take them back. Steps away from the pressure. Pulls it down and dives across the 35 to get the better part of six yards. But it looked like he might get trapped, sacked. He squirmed loose. What you have is the number one offense in the Pac-10 against the number 10, the last better, place defense in the Pac-10. Better hurry up right here, too, or they're going to get mailed to the clock. Cut it off just in time. Pass is caught across the 40. That'll be a first down. Eric Ball out of the backfield. Went way up to get it. You can really get your bell rung when you're stretched out like that to catch a pass, but get away with it. The block stops now when you get to uh, two minutes in college football. You get inside that to move the chains and save the time for you. Aikman. Across the field. Hits his man right on the numbers. Drilled it. David how, appropriate, how appropriate, Keith. You've got the, the man that is a favorite to win the Heisman Trophy, the top award in college football, leading his team down the field to score the winning touchdown. Just short of the 45 of Washington State. Aikman again, sideline pattern incomplete this time. And it was intended for Mike Barr. So that stops your clock at 2.04. And just short of the Washington State 45, second down, 10. UCLA with 27 first downs of the game. Washington State, 26. Now the Cougars are leading 34 to 30. Aikman doesn't like the shotgun. One of the few times he's been in it this year. Intercepted. Yes. Intercepted by Artie Holmes. That time the defender went down on the grass and scooped it up. Intended for Mike Barr. Picked off Take a look from the end zone. The problem with the shotgun, you have to look down to get the ball and then come back up. Top of your screen, the middle, Artie Holmes, number 19, reads his eyes and comes and makes the interception.
interception. Put the ball in play and Washington down. State, with a minute and 59 seconds to play in the ball game, owns it just beyond their own 37-yard line. An incredible upset, potential at hand. the penalty against the Cougars. Six times today hit with that penalty. Six times. Here's the interception. He was trying to get the man in the middle of the field. Now watch Holmes is right here. He's going to drop back and then come up and make the interception. He doesn't like the shotgun because he has to look down to catch the football. You lose sight sometimes of where the defense is. And a little frustration right here at the end by Minifield. Got away with it. Well, the Bruins need a turnover, and they've not been good at turnovers this year. 159 to play. First and 15, Washington State. This is not your typical ball control offense. Rich Swinton, he's had a good day, a big day, a tough day in running for Washington State and may very well have been the surprise of the game, though he just really surfaced last week with his 193 yards against Arizona State. At GEICO, we're always looking for faster ways to process your car insurance claims. idea airlifting claims adjusters right to the site of the accident we're over the target i don't see the car it's that little black dot they're all little black dots come on oh your laptop geico direct a 15-minute call could save you 15 percent or more on car insurance got a minute introducing jet wet why waste your time and effort with messy liquids or hand applied products look with Jet Wet, you just spray it on. It's the world's fastest, wettest, high-gloss tire shine. No wiping. It's streak-free, fast-drying, water-resistant. And the Jet Black Wet look lasts for weeks. Amazing. Less than 60 seconds for all four tires, and you're done. Jet Wet. Because wetter is better. Rosenbar rolls it out. Goes back the other way. Now gets a little help up the middle. Almost dropped the football. And gets back to about the 39-yard line. Here is the 81-yard touchdown play. Rosenball to Stallworth that resulted in a 27-27 tie as Washington State scored 21 points in the third quarter. UCLA led in the ball game at halftime, 20 to 6. And this is the touchdown here that put Washington State in front. Rich Swinton off the right side. And that gave uh, the Cougars the lead. So with 144 remaining in the ball game, the top ranked team in the country is trailing by four points. And third down and nine coming up for Washington State. Now five seconds so our stations can identify themselves. Oh, we picked up five yards in the last play. The entire UCLA team on their side talking about their dire circumstances. The entire Washington State team on their side talking about what a glorious opportunity they have immediately in front of them if they can do something here on third down and nine. What they're talking about is they're, they're getting a good play, but they're also saying don't fumble the ball, don't turn it over. At worst, we want to put it away and force UCLA to go the entire length of the field with probably less than a minute and a half to play. With Swinton in motion, they've got four wideouts, and Rosenbaugh takes off. And uh, I think there they were conceding. Rather than take any kind of risk, they will punt the ball away. And uh, another Cougar getting up, uh, hobbling off the field. 
number 68. That's Chris Geico, the offensive right tackle. UCLA leads the conference in punt returns, and Washington State is the worst team in covering punts. Darrell Hindley. Could, could it be? Yeah, they got 10 Bruins up. And Hindley ever so dangerous. Back deep. One minute. They're letting the clock run. They'll take the five-yard penalty. Myers, the Washington State punter today. 32, 30, 33. He had one big one. His uh, third punt of the day was a 55-yarder. Good ball. Delay the game against the offense. Still fourth down. So now Daryl Hindley moves up across the 30. He has up the front. Decision here, do you try and block it? And the Bruins change their mind. Return it. Feel a couple of guys back to help. And the kick, not very long. Hindley's going to take a shot at it. As a hole. One man. And they get him. He had one guy to get. And he couldn't get past him. Chris Moton finally pulls him down. And UCLA with 44 seconds owns the football at the Washington State 44. Look to your left for blue shirts to try and form a wall. A lot of blue jerseys there. Right there, a nice block. Right there was the man that forced him to turn back inside, and that was the difference. 31-yard return. All right, 44 seconds. UCLA has one timeout remaining. Troy Aikman steps up. They have no timeouts remaining. The scoreboard shows it, but that's wrong. Aikman down the middle. Arbuckle! The 10, the 6-yard line! Block stops with 36 seconds to play in the ball game. Charles Arbuckle! A 33-yard game. Aikman throws it to the ground to kill the clock at 32 seconds. So they obviously don't have a timeout remaining. They burn them right again. This is the play previous. Arbuckle just going across your screen. Aikman does a nice job of looking to his right, keeping the safety out of the middle of the field. 29 is Todd, a corner, gets back in time to help pull Arbuckle to the ground. You want dramatic, how, how much better can you get? The Heisman Trophy <laughs> leading candidate bringing his team down. Trying to stay undefeated. Notre Dame won their game today, 22-7 at David. It didn't exactly blow the middies away. UCLA right now fighting for his life. Well, we've had 64 points scored, and we have two outstanding quarterbacks. That's not been a surprise to me. Aikman sets them up. Fisher will stop it for a moment. Clock should not have started. There are 32 seconds That's right. remaining They're in the game. The 32 seconds. Clock will be adjusted. 32 seconds. You think they were playing in Eugene or uh, in uh, Pullman <laughs> rather than Pasadena? Why in the world would they run the clock? The home team we're has the ball, guys. Yeah, we're the home team. <laughs> Give us a break. That's right. A new uh, clock operator next week. They're entitled to 32 seconds. Well, what's key here is the boys again, right? Yeah, no question. He knew exactly what was going on. He's he is aware of everything. The thing he knows now, I've got three plays to get it in. First of all, I can't turn it over. Secondly, I, I don't have to throw it into the end zone here. I can throw it short if I have to. From the six, second down and goal. Incomplete. The pass intended for. Arbuckle and uh, Artie Holmes, who had the big interception for Washington State, was right there to slap it loose. Now, this changes a little bit. You're on third down, and you almost have to throw it into the end zone, because if you throw it short and don't get out of bounds, the clock will continue to run, 
It'll be a hurry-up situation on fourth down, so you better throw it into the end zone on these two plays. They've got 30 seconds. And two more plays. Field goal is just, it's 34 to 30. Washington State leads. Got to get him outside the pocket. Throw him out to the right. Pressure gets it off into the end zone. Incomplete intended for Maury Toy out of the backfield. The fullback, Ron Lee. But Aikman was just splattered after he released the ball. He never sees the man coming from his right side. And he just does get rid of the football. Bob O'Neill. 41. Here it is, fourth down and goal at the Washington State Six. Fourth down. Nope. Incomplete in the end zone. Incomplete intended for David Keating and Vernon Todd slapped it away and almost intercepted it. And Washington State takes over at their own six with 20 seconds to play in the ball game and leading 34 to 30. Take another look. They were trying to get a pick. The two outside guys come in. The inside guy goes out. 29 is Todd. Does a nice job of finding his way through the traffic. Read the play the entire way and gets out there and breaks it up. Had no chance. He wasn't even close to being open. And so now all the Cougars have to do is snap it one time. And this game will go down as one of the most stunning upsets of this football season. UCLA cannot stop the clock. Washington State has not won against the Bruins in Southern California since 1958. But today, they have. Washington State defeats number one, UCLA, 34 to 30. The most valuable players in the ball game today for UCLA, Troy Aikman, 27 of 44, 325 yards. Kim Stallworth, seven catches for 170 yards, two touchdowns, six first downs, and one of those touchdowns, 81 yards, a play that Stallworth really truly made himself. For Dennis Erickson, one of the biggest wins of his young coaching life, and he is now with Mike Adamley. Keith, I don't think it's one of the biggest wins. I think it is the biggest win of your coaching career. It has to be, Coach. Well, no question about it. It's amazing. Uh, we came out in that second half, and they scored first, and then our guy just came back. And uh, after that loss last week to Arizona State, I just can't say enough about that football team. It's unbelievable. You're down 20-6 to six at halftime. What do you tell your kids? And it was obvious that the defense was on the field far too long. Well, they hit us with some double, double eagle blitzes that we weren't quite ready for, and uh, so we made some adjustments and got some big plays off of it. And uh, our defense came out and got the ball back, and uh, we played offensively like we were capable of, and it's the biggest win I've ever been involved in my life. You were saying when you were a little kid, you were watching game films at the age of seven instead of cartoons. I guess, Pinky, your dad has a lot to do with that. Your dad. It was fast break bat football on turf today. <laughs> today belongs to the Washington State Cougars. Dennis, congratulations. Enjoy it. Keith? Ah, uh, the old bell will ring in Bryan Hall all night long, I would think. 51,907, they watched it. And this was the final guess for victory for UCLA. And it really never had a chance of succeeding. And so you have watched one of the big upsets of this season. Final school, Washington State Cougars 34, UCLA Bruins 30. After the loss to the Cougars, the Bruins would stumble again, losing to state rival USC. However, UCLA closed the season on a winning note with a win over Arkansas in the Cotton Bowl. Washington State finished the season with a victory over Houston in a battle of the Cougars at the Aloha Bowl. Meanwhile, Notre Dame went 12-0 and en route to its 12th national championship. We hope you enjoyed our presentation of Washington State and UCLA from 1988. I'm Jeff Metters. 
Thanks for watching ESPN Classic. You're watching ESPN Classic. Could Havlicek steal it? Havlicek stole the ball! Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! You notice Joe Amici. Amici powered in. Chris Fowler for Sports Century. He was half man, half legend, as cantankerous as an old bull, a combustible combination of talent and tantrums. His own father said being around him when he threw a fit was like trying to dance with a chainsaw. But when Anthony Joseph Foyt Jr. wrapped his meaty hands around his steering wheel, what followed was pure gasoline genius. A lot of people said that A.J. stood for arrogant jerk. He was a cantankerous, tough old coot, like a strip of rawhide. But boy, if it had four wheels and an engine, he's the guy you wanted driving. Wait, was the last guy that could probably build a car himself, build a motor himself, punch out somebody in the press by himself, and win the race by himself. He would make Bobby Knight look like a Sunday school superintendent. He was probably the most volatile man I've ever seen around the racetrack. Kenny Bragg run out of gas and AJ control off the lead, control off the lead. He's a very, very competitive person, and sometimes when things don't go his way or something makes him mad, he just goes off. I don't like the rules, huh? Well, it's bull. If you want to run taxi cabs with anybody driving, they ought to hire him. This ain't no race. This is a damn taxi cab race. He wasn't going as fast in the qualifying run as he had been in practice. I interviewed him and I asked him what he thought was caused. He said, well, nothing except it just ran like a tub of shit. It just was dead silence for maybe a second or two and then everybody realized what he had said and it was an uproar. Floyd is known as a spoiled brat. I mean, he doesn't get things his way. He flares up, he wants things his way. He said, when I was young, somebody would say something to me, and I'd get mad, and I'd pop up. He said, as I got older, I knew what they were thinking, so I didn't have to wait to hear what they had to say, and I'd pop up. If Foyt didn't exist, somebody would have to invent him. I've met racing drivers from all over the world. I've never met anybody as hard-headed as he is. Other drivers might bitch about Foyt, but never to his face. Johnny White did once at Terre Haute, and Foyt knocked him over a toolbox. I'm sure that some drivers probably lost to him because they were just downright intimidated by him. I think uh, that was certainly part of uh, what really worked for him. And, and why not? Foyt wanted to win by hook or crook. For two decades, often laced with white-hot anger, A.J. Foyt burned his way to four Indianapolis 500 championships. When he didn't win, he often laid blame anywhere but on himself. And look out, a crash before the start of the race. When they had the big pileup in 1982 at the start of the race, he gets on live television on ABC and they said, A.J., what happened? Well, I don't know. He ran right square to my damn left. He lives in a male world, that has a lot to do with it. Where he came from, it was all guys and it was rough and tough, and so a lot was accepted. Oh, it's really funny. He, he's, uh, he's got a terrible ego problem. I mean, boy.